good day. My name is uh, Felicia Kuyong AJ Danso. I am a public health nutritionist with the Ghana Health Service. Uh, particularly, uh, I work at the Northern Regional Hospital as a nutritionist there and uh, also leading the nutrition team in the hospital. I mean, it's a great opportunity that has been given to us to um, make known to uh, the world who we are as a nutrition department uh, in the Northern Regional Hospital. I first of all want to thank God. I mean, he is the doer of all and it is he that has uh, granted this space for us to make known um, who we are and what we do. I would also like to thank the Regional um, Director of Health Services and also the Medical Director of the Northern Regional Hospital for um, continuously supporting the course of nutrition in the region and in the hospital uh, particularly. The nutrition department of the hospital started uh, in 2012 then it was called the Tamale Central Hospital. So uh, at that time, there was no nutrition um, officer manning the place, and so I was posted to go and uh, establish the nutrition department so as to help in coordinating nutrition-related services and care within the hospital at that time. So it started as a one-man and department uh, with mainly support from uh, interns, nutrition interns, and service personnel. So the department, what we do there, um, as the vision of the Family Health Division uh, states that um, ours is to uh, work to see that uh, the population, we provide quality uh, nutrition, services uh, for the population in uh, whichever level that you function. And so um, right from the, in the hospital setting, we provide nutrition services at the child welfare the, uh, department, which is called uh, reproductive and child health services. So at that point, uh, we care for children from birth till they are five years old. And so in addition to the nutrition assessment and other healthcare services that are provided, essentially the um, um, immunizations and, and other um, aspects of care handled at the child welfare clinic, the nutrition team there equally helps in assessing uh, these uh, children, and particularly because um, at that age, it is a, a period where if care is not taken and then there is any growth uh, faltering or issues regarding to the development of a child, if it is not picked early during the very early years, between um, zero to two years, then it becomes difficult to correct these developmental challenges nutritionally afterwards. So as part of um, what we do there, we help in assessing the uh, nutritional status of children. Then we provide nutrition counseling for caregivers to be able to support their children to grow optimally. And, and in the same place too, we provide um, uh, treatment uh, in the management of acute malnutrition um, under the component of the community-based management of acute malnutrition, the outpatient care services where children who are malnourished um, are identified through the assessment uh, um, that is done there. And then those that are picked, uh, we charge them and then we begin the care process there. At the same place, those that cannot be handled uh, at that level uh, because of medical complications are uh, referred to the inpatient care which is hosted in pediatric ward, yes. And so at that place we provide um, 
the management of acute malnutrition with medical complications. So we have a team of nutritionists that are stationed in the ward to help in uh, nutritional care for severely acutely malnourished children. Now, if you go out of uh, the management of malnutrition or for child health, we, we are also providing services at the uh, maternal uh, area, that's the antenatal uh, care point. So, so we provide uh, maternal nutrition services at the antenatal, where basically we are looking at uh, providing um, nutrition counseling for, for um, our pregnant women knowing that um, in our part of the country, in northern region, anemia uh, continues to be a very topical issue. Uh, we have uh, more than 60% of our pregnant women uh, being anemic. So um, at that point, the nutrition team is, is with support from the, the nursing team uh, providing nutrition counseling there. In the same place do we have incorporated what we call the um, breastfeeding classes, preparing pregnant women from their third trimester uh, towards uh, introducing uh, their children right uh, to the right and best form of nutrition right after delivery. And then we continue to monitor them in uh, the child welfare uh, clinics. Uh, subsequently, at the outpatient department that the OPD the nutrition team is equally present there and there we mainly are involved uh, with the chronic care clinic uh, where the nutrition team is stationed uh, and, and is part of the team that is managing the chronic care clinic with the medical team and so in in that place we are essentially also providing nutrition counseling and other support services for persons who have any form of chronic uh, disease, then also um, any other condition that requires a nutrition intervention is equally referred to the nutrition team at the outpatient department. Then from time to time, um, we, we, are, we are called upon into the various other departments, uh, the uh, neonatal intensive care unit, the uh, medical blog, um, to attend to other uh, cases that require nutritional uh, care or support service. So essentially, that is what we do at the Northern Regional Hospital. Beyond the, the hospital, uh, we also engage in outreach activities um, uh, within schools. Uh, we, we do uh, visit um, these early development centers, um, the crutches and then the preschool uh, uh, schools, preschools that are around our catchment area. I mean, we, as a regional hospital, we are looking to go broadly, but we are also limited with uh, um, what will carry us out. So we, are, we just go around those that we can easily assess and that does not demand a lot of resources to conduct these uh, services. So in these preschools we go, we assess these children, those that have not completed their immunizations, we link them up with the um, disease control team to come in and then uh, complete the immunizations for these children. And this we started way back in 2015 till date. Then also we give vitamin A supplementation, then also deworming. However, as the years have gone by, uh, due to the um, non-availability of uh, these um, commodities, vitamin A and dewormers, uh, it has uh, really affected how far we are able to go. But we continue to go to the schools to provide um, a nutritional assessment, anthropometric assessment of these children. And the children that are not developing well based on the uh, development cutoffs, growth cutoffs. We we, uh, we we notify the schools and then they call the parents in and then we have some uh, engagement and, and counseling or discussion uh, discussion sessions with them. So that is what we have been doing um, all this while uh, as a, a regional hospital and for that matter the nutrition department.
of the hospital. So we have uh, increased from being a one-man or a one-person-led uh, department to now having a staff strength of nine. And we are poised to making uh, the department uh, a, a center of excellence when it comes to nutrition service delivery within the Ghana Health Service. And so we, would, we are working hard to ensure that we, we, we reach this goal that we have set for ourselves and then for others to come in to our facility to learn about what we are doing differently and, and, and why we have attained that status of being a center of excellence when it comes to nutrition care in, in Ghana or in northern region and Ghana at large. We are a team of very passionate people. We, we, we are self-motivated. I mean, that is the driving force because there are times that um, we go out of our way to ensure that the, the work is done, especially during the times when we run out of um, therapeutic feedings, uh, feeds, uh, supplies that is used to manage uh, the malnourished children, especially the plumpy nuts. And so we had to devise strategies that to encourage uh, caregivers to continue to patronize uh, nutrition services so that the children can be monitored adequately, uh, especially those who are not uh, in or on admission. So we, we in instituted um, strategies such as uh, a dress for a child, a, a soup for a mother, uh, even a, a, a pack of willy mix for a mother, uh, so that, I mean, the, the mothers are motivated to continue to attend um, these special clinics so that we can be able to monitor the children uh, up to a point that they are uh, cured of malnutrition. And then also we have tried to uh, locally produce these commodities with the support of the hospital management, they have been so tremendous. I mean, they, they have seen what we are able to do, and so they have continuously provided the, the supplies, I mean, the raw materials that we need to be able to constitute them into these therapeutic fees to uh, continuously uh, manage malnourished children. And so uh, sometimes uh, we are constrained and as a hospital, um, as and when there is money, they, they provide. But in instances where there is limited resources, then um, it, there's always a, a gap that is created. And so um, it is at this point that we always go seeking for support from individuals, organizations, uh, to come to our aid so that we can continuously um, support these unfortunate children who for no cause of this, okay, have uh, been plagued with uh, undernutrition, okay, and so if they had the opportunity, maybe they would have made the right choices, but they, they are being fed what is available at their households, and unfortunately, what they are being fed is inadequate to support their growth. And so they, they find themselves in a situation that requires uh, additional uh, uh, nutrients to help their bodies to function and for them to develop adequately, um, knowing that these children are the future of the nation. And so if they don't receive the appropriate care, we may be losing very great potentials that will help in the development of our country. So basically that is what we do and uh, as a nutrition team, that is who we are in the Northern Regional Hospital.